Our offering this morning is for Alice Vanderwerf and the work that she is doing. As many of you will have noticed from your last email update, she is uh, retiring early and she is now back in Canada, which is wonderful to have her here, although she is... Yeah, grieving, I think, a little bit the loss uh, of her, the rest of her uh, mission's time. Uh, however, that being said, she is home in Canada, and we hope to have her present in some fashion, whether online or whether uh, in person. Uh, we hope to have her present uh, sometime in the not-too-distant future to give us an update. And in the meantime, she continues to do work with Resonate uh, Global Mission, and she continues to do work with her uh, other agency, um, just home sharing what God was doing with uh, her mission in, uh, well, where she was. And uh, so, yeah, we, uh, we need to continue to support her, not only in our finances, but also uh, prayerfully as uh, she makes the transition home here to Canada. Now, let us come before God in congregational prayer. Father in heaven, we thank you so very much for drawing us together again today. We thank you also so very much for the opportunity uh, that we hopefully will have to gather together in person again in whatever shape that will take uh, come uh, September the 13th. Lord, we pray that you will be with this whole world. Lord, we see that uh, in various places like Australia, uh, the uh, coronavirus is, is making a comeback and uh, they are having to lock down uh, again. We see in other places uh, that it's the coronavirus is just rampaging along without, uh, it's not coming back because it never left. We see also, O oh God, that uh, things seem to be uh, fairly good here in Canada, and we are so grateful for that. We pray that uh, you will help people to obey the health authorities and the government authorities, uh, not, not because they have to, but because they want to uh, love and protect their neighbor and they want to honor, um, honor God uh, and honor uh, the authorities that you, God, have put in place over us. Help us not, O oh God, to become uh, fatigued, as they say, but help us to persevere in doing good things, including these difficult things. Lord, we pray as well that you will uh, you will be with the people of Lebanon and particularly Beirut and the surrounding area, Lord. We, we ache with them at the uh, devastation that has happened there because of this explosion. Oh God, we are reminded of the Halifax explosion so many years ago and how devastating that was. We know, oh God, what it can be like to face this kind of adversity and Lord, we know also that their situation is unique from ours, that they face their own challenges. And so, Lord, we pray that you will be a shining light for the people of Lebanon in this time, that Christ followers from throughout the world will, will provide help and resources, that Christ followers in Lebanon will be encouraged and strengthened in doing good, that the people of Lebanon would experience your presence, O oh God. Father, closer to home, we pray for, we pray for all of those uh, transitions that are happening in the fall, Lord. We think of uh, we think of, of course, uh, schools reopening and, Lord, the changing dynamic there. We pray that, uh, we pray that that will be uh, figured out in such a way that staff and volunteers and teachers and students and families will all be able to be safe, but at the same time in a way that, that students will be able to be educated. And not just some students, not students who can... Uh, afford to stay home and have homeschooling, although, Lord, we pray for their education too, but also that those who just simply cannot afford to do something like that, that they also would receive 
a good education. We pray for college and university students as they head off to school, whether that's virtually or in person or whatever form that takes. And God, too, we pray for all of us, um, not only in our congregation, but throughout uh, this area, all those to whom we are connected and all those throughout this world who are, uh, who are suffering from illness, from sickness. Lord, we think particularly, of course, of the people in our own congregation who are struggling with long-term ailments or, or, or who are struggling with uh, even short-term ones. God, please um, encourage them and strengthen them. Help them, O oh God. Help them to persist in doing what is good and in taking care of them uh, themselves. Lord, please bring healing to them, uh, whether it's body, mind, or soul, or all three of those. Oh God, please provide healing for them. We pray too for, for our local uh, congregations, Lord. We know that a couple of the churches in town are already meeting uh, in person, and we pray that, uh, that they would be kept safe uh, and that uh, you would guide us as we consider that as well. We, Lord, also pray for uh, those who have been hit by the hurricane that recently went through the Carolinas. We ask that you would strengthen them as well. Oh God, please be with us. Open up our hearts and minds so that we may hear what you would have us hear in this message. And Lord, please also, please be with Alice Vanderwerf as she is back home. Help her in her transition. And Lord, help these offerings that we give to bless her and glorify your name. We pray all this in Jesus' name. Amen.